Sunday afternoon. Howdy doody. Whoops, skip here. Down in Knoxville. I guess you could say I took the weekend off from working on either the Bradley. Oh, let's back up. You can actually see my three-wheel car. It's unwrapped. Two point seven cubic inch or cubic centimeters. Five speed, six cylinder. Independent front suspension. Coney coil over shocks. Custom made fenders and body. Or all fiberglass. Most of it is Subaru. There's windshield, the top I made for it. A little of the body you can see, future dashboard, and side pipes. Right, back to the Bradley. Still looking good. He had a pretty easy winter. It's been unpacked, not cleaned. And I forgot to mention that the hydraulic pump went out on my hoist. The uh, company wanted five hundred dollars. Not bad. The whole thing is only thirteen fifty. Well, I found this one on eBay for three twenty shipped from Colorado. It's a lot better, stronger. It has a contractor sitting inside it instead of just wiring. However, when I installed it to the mounts, it almost hit the hoist as it lifted. See how it sticks over? So, me and my friend Bob, we had to take it off again, cut the mount bracket, and remount it. Aside from that, I filled up the tank, plugged in the hose, and it works great. So I didn't work on this either. What I worked on, remember that tent that fell down last winter from too much snow when I was off goofing off in Las Vegas? Well, the top was disintegrating. There's my wife's tent. And this is what I did this weekend. The Harbor Freight tent is basically gone. Now this side, I rebuilt after the snow, and this side was still the Harbor Freight tubing. This gray pipe is left over from my paint booth. Well, I went ahead, put in four legs, quickly put together cross beams and supports. This is not beautiful, but it's doable. Got clear roofing with white. He didn't have enough clear. But boy, the sun really comes through this thing. I can now get to my gutter a lot easier to clean it. There's my Harbor Freight 20 ton press, which I converted to an air operated 20 ton pump. And the bender, the swag bender kit which you have to weld together nice I've used it a few times already and the sandblaster has not been finished still need to hinge the top support it and fill it up with sand or maybe put those uh, casters on there too so I can move it around well here is a Bradley Volkswagen frame it's all Volkswagen totally rebuilt Air shocks up front, air shocks in the rear, Bradley gas tank, new floors, rebuilt suspension, Volkswagen transmission, whoop, Subaru 2.2 cubic inch. How about that? Right now I have a 2.2 four cylinder. This contraption I'm working on. 2.5 four cylinder. Three wheeler. 
2.7 six cylinder 68 model my original yellow Bradley ah, there it is it's in there has a SVX 3.3 six cylinder couple two or five speed front wheel drive it's all mid-engine and the other Bradley got pulled out of the garage from the hoist poor thing is sitting in the front yard all by himself anyway guess what 3.0 six cylinder automatic I think it's almost time to start cutting grass damn it yep 2011 Ford Ranger this was one of the last Ford Rangers it was built in December six days before production stopped made in Mexico <coughs> it's a 4.0 rear wheel drive and they only made five all the 4.0s went into the four wheel drive this is a four door automatic that's the third Ranger that Camper Top's been on. And I have a Ford Explorer, leather seats, console, overhead, temperature, compass, and I got mag wheels. My 2006 Ford Ranger is sitting next to it behind it. Has a Mazda bed on it. I found it in the junkyard. It had rhino lining. They want it $450. It cost $650 for this rhino lining. So I grabbed it. That's why the tail lights look weird. So that's about it. There's my wife's tent for her Prius. There's my new garage, carport, temporary building, whatever you want to refer to it as. Hey, there's a yellow Bradley. With the headlights hiding. Okay, I'm out of here. Bradley's looking good. Those driving lights shine up nice. That's actually a 3D printed wedge. Then I used the uh, 3M cement glue epoxy to actually glue those in and then glue the mounts for the driving lights. Stuff works good. It's not cheap, but it works good. Okay, I got to do the post street before I put any kind of windows in. I'm still going to have to fight the doors. You can see the door fits pretty nice here, but look at that. Nice big hump. Don't know if that's butt sag or just fiberglass been out of shape. Okay, I'm out of here. Three wheel car. That was built 12 years ago. Now everybody's ranting and raving about three-wheelers. This thing is licensed, it's on the street, and it's like a go-kart on steroids. It is fun, and it's definitely a cell phone moment. And if anybody's got an old camera, then it's a Kodak moment. Okay, I'm out of here. Sorry, long video. Take care, have a good... Oh, the weekend's almost over. Well, have a relaxing week. Me... Either I'm going to start on the body of the bed or try and finish the wiring on this engine and see if I can get this thing started. Once it's started, I can clean up the mess and actually put the body on it. That will give me an extra parking space. Whoopee! Okay, sayonara! Bye!